Hey guys, how do you do 2FA without a phone number? Can you do that? Hey, my Twitter account got suspended for making this video, so I hope it's worth it. Two-factor authentication is important to stop a man-in-the-middle attack when you log in on the internet. But the problem is that many sites require a phone number for verification, and this particular data can be a threat to our privacy. For example, Facebook already sold your phone numbers, and you gave it to them for 2FA purposes. And it's now matched to your real name, and so if you use the same phone number with Snapchat, then they know who you are. So I'd be reluctant to give out phone number, especially to sites with your real name, because they will use it to destroy your pseudo anonymity. Matching phone numbers from named site with pseudo anonymous sites. So what we want to do is to do two-factor authentication, 2FA, without using a phone number. And I'm going to show you how you do that. First, we will set up a Gmail account and then a Google Voice account and then you need some temporary phone number to use. In my case, I have an old phone, a BlackBerry, with changeable SIM cards, which I use for this purpose. I change phone numbers on this frequently. Some of you will be concerned because this is a Google-based solution and you don't trust Google. The premise here, however, is that I'm creating a pseudo-anonymous account. And I'm using this for 2FA two-factor authentication only. I will show you how to disconnect this from any phone number at the end and how to tell Google not to track your activity. This is the sign-in screen for Gmail. So I'm going to put in my name and my preferred Gmail account. Again, this should not have your real name on it. And then put in the password and then hit the next button. And now it's gonna ask you, this is a Google account, to see if you wanna put your phone number in there, and I'm not gonna put any phone number in there. I'm not even gonna put a recovery email. All I'm gonna do is put in a birth date. Not even going to tell them what uh, my gender is. Then I'm going to hit next and I should be all done after I agree to the terms of use. Now it's going to let me choose a phone number, so I'm just going to pick a city here. And there's a list of phone numbers on there. I'm going to pick the second one, because it has a lot of eights in it. And now I've selected the phone number. Now I'm going to hit verify. Okay, now you see the prompt for a phone number. This is where you're stuck with choices. At the end of the video, this phone number can be deleted. So don't worry about it right now. You can use your current mobile number if you want. Or in my case here, I was more secure, so I actually set up a new phone number on my old phone. This cost me around $10 to activate a SIM card. And since it's only a one-time use, I could immediately turn it off after use. Anyway, it's always handy to have an old phone or flip phone for this. I'll put a link to the carrier I use to do this in the description. Remember, I'm not actually going to use this phone number later on for 2FA. It's only a one-time use. By the way, watch my video on flip phones where I discussed why I picked this particular phone. Okay, now I'm going to put the code in that I received on my phone, my actual phone, with that temporary phone number that I made with a SIM card, which arrived by SMS, and then I'm going to verify it. And 
now the phone number has con been confirmed and my Google Voice is now active. Now I'm going to install Google Voice on my phone. I have an iPhone here. So I'm going to go to the App Store and pick out Google Voice. And here's Google Voice without any messages yet. And I've already logged in using my new Gmail account. And there's my account there back on the computer showing Google Voice on the computer and it shows the link number but I'm going to delete the link number that I just added so basically now this is the end of use of that actual phone number so I'm going to remove that and that phone number that the new phone number that I just created with the real sim card is now unlinked and it will now forward the messages to email. So the email is still active, but the phone is no longer connected to it. So it's really just one time use. So to test this, I went to Twitter and then used the Google voice number for 2FA. And you can see me do it here. Let me just say that when I changed my phone number back to my original number, Twitter suspended my account. So be prepared. You can't do this twice in a short time period or they'll think you're hacking the account. Okay, now I'm going to show you that the messages are showing. This is an actual phone call I used to test the, vo the voicemail even after I've deleted the connected account. And you can see it still works pretty normally. And then there's the text message that came in from Twitter shows you that works but you can delete all of this I'm going to show you now that you can delete all of your calls from Google Voice and you don't have to worry about it being on your records so I just deleted that and it's gone Now I'm going to show you myactivity.google.com. This is something you should always do so you can see exactly what Google collects on you or is able to collect on you. And usually you would go here and you would pause activities for various categories like web and app activity. I got that to pause. There's some defaulted values in here already. So I'm going to show you. Scanning through like location is off. I have that off already but I just clicked on it just to show you. Got all these off, voice activity off, YouTube search history, I'm gonna turn that off. YouTube watch history, I'm gonna turn that off. So really this account will just be very, very limited and used only for 2FA and this is how you make sure that it, it's a little safer. And you can see other Google activity there as well. And you can go scan devices and other things that you may do on the internet. And you can manage all those settings. This is something you should always do with all of your Google accounts. And there's the one for Google Voice. Lots of steps here. But it's good to see it all in advance before you start messing with it. That's the purpose of making this video. One more point. On the Google Voice app on the phone, you can switch between different Google accounts on the app so it's possible to set up a brand new Gmail even if you already have Google Voice. Try it here and it works fine. As always, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. I post new videos weekly and I have live streamed from Friday to Monday.